Hi everyone, I hope the lighting situation is okay. Um, I will be sounding a little bit strange, but um, I've got a flu and really I should be in bed right now. I'm not feeling great. I had a terrible um, night last night, um, but you're not here for that. So <laughs> let's focus on the fun colors. Um, so I really wanted to share kind of my June color palette. Now June is my birth month, so June is really my favorite month of the year and I love the vibes of the summer and how it makes me feel. So this color palette kind of reflects it. It's a little bit out there, it's got loads of um, fun summery colors. And so what I've done today, I've done it slightly different and my hat space is all over the place because I have this typical flu hat. And um, yeah, so it's impacting my thinking process to some extent. Um, so what I've done is I've taken four colors that I have kind of enjoyed using and I replicated the same color palette or similar one as I went through my medium. So I started with um, Caran d'Ache Near Color 2s. I went into ink acrylics, watercolors and then colored pencils. So where I also will start is um, favorite of the month has to be this beautiful palette which I filmed a video about. I don't know if it's coming Yes, I've done an unboxing for it. It might be coming after um, this video. So I'll tell you all about it in that video and I'll leave the details here. It's an um, Etsy shop where I found it at. It's absolutely stunning. Love how it uh, looks, the quality, just beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, also on Instagram, I already have some info there if you wanted to... Um, go and have a look. So what I will do today is just run through the colors that I have used some of the colors straight from the bottles or tubes and then some of them mixed up and I'll just explain the process. Also on the desk um, I have included um, in my favorites the color soft, the Derwent color soft. Now the only colors I have tried so far are those that were kindly sent to me by Derbent um, and they are mostly their kind of um, pinks and purples and some reds because I felt like in the light fast I didn't have enough of those colors and so I extended my Derbent pinks and reds through Color Soft. Love the texture of them. Kind of curious about some of the other colors that I would enjoy using, like turquoises, and um, I wonder if they have a chartreuse or color similar to that, whether they have um, like this beautiful fiery burnt orange or not burnt orange, burnt sienna. So the color soft definitely got my curiosity. Love how they feel when, when you draw with them. And then before we jump into the swatches, also as a favorite in the whole are these two sets. Um, so the Neo Color 2 by Karen Dash, and these are curated by Bayer Rebe, the warm color set and the cold color set. And I absolutely love both of them. Can't pick the favorite one, just love, love, love them. And I use some colors from both uh, in this um, color arrangement here. So uh, let's start with the first one nice and easy. So we've got the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 and I used this lovely pink. I'll give you a close-up later so that you could you know see the colors a bit closer and also do like a um, note of the colors that you like. So we've got pink. I used the Chinese green which comes off a little bit more yellow than um, then it looks in the 
crayon so in the crayon kind of looks a bit more chartreuse so that's that and then the third color i use from here is the english red gorgeous burnt sienna type of a color and then finally we've got turquoise green from the cold color set by the way uh, these colors are available in open stock all of them uh, so this is the turquoise green and um, these sets are limited edition so I don't know if they're still available or not then we're moving on to the ink acrylics now here I had to do a bit of mixing and I wanted to go more into juicy chartreuse type of a color um, than than a yellow I started off by mixing my Dalla Rani uh, in rose no sorry fluorescent pink so fluoro pink with golden high flow acrylics titanium white and I got this sort of beautiful kind of pastel pink for this color I've taken Amsterdam Azo yellow lemon again was hoping more for a chartreuse or more towards a green tone but um, to do that I uh, mixed it with a little bit just tiny amount of olive green I'd say probably one to five roughly speaking um, <clears throat> and it gives you this gorgeous gorgeous color next color is straight from the bottle and that's the golden high floor acrylics in transparent red iron oxide nice and easy this color I had to mix a little bit as well because it's actually um, it's a little bit more vibrant straight out of the bottle so this is a teal and also by golden high floor acrylics I just again added a bit of white to it not that much uh, just to bring it to a lighter tone then let's look at watercolors so in terms of watercolors these are nice and easy they come from the tubes and love them so we've got the Holbein Brilliant Pink famous uh, famous color used by a lot a lot of illustrators and mind you this is a very illustrative color palette so you could do some fun little illustrations from outfits to botanicals um, all sorts of things because obviously you can also mix the colors in between to create more colors next color we have here actually these two are new to me and they're also coming in the upcoming um, Jackson's haul so I have tried these two colors from Sennelier bright yellow green and Chinese orange now these two colors have not been recommended to me by anyone nor have I seen anyone use them but they really uh, got my curiosity flowing because they look so interesting and I like the names I think the names describe them so well um, this is your perfect perfect fiery burnt sienna and this is your perfect perfect chartreuse juicy um, summery chartreuse Finally, for the turquoise, we've got the cobalt teal, and this is uh, this one here by Roman Schmal. And finally, uh, coming to the pencils, we have got Derwent Color Soft in bright pink, so it's this one here. Next to it, we've got Caran d'Ache Luminance Olive Yellow, which is lovely. It's got some nice warmth coming through which I really really like then I actually pulled out a polychromos which I stopped using a while ago because I discovered other pencils like Caran d'Ache Luminance and uh, Derwent Drawing Pencils, Derwent Light Fast, Derwent Color Soft all of those pencils that are and Holbein's as well <clears throat> Holbein pencils all of those pencils that I totally fell in love with um, purely for the um, tactile feeling when you draw with them how they feel um, 
so these are a little bit hard for me and but I do like the color palette so the colors are really stunning so Sanjuin is a good reliable classic beautiful color so I love that and then finally we've got Derwent Light Fast in turquoise green so again it's more of a teal color so this one probably would be the bluest out of all of them and these are kind of a very good match amongst each other so this one this one and this one that's for the color palette now I think I will attempt a little bit of art because I have also been enjoying a bit of the transparent or tracing paper um, and this one is a thick one it's 100 GSM so it's not too thick but it's thicker than um, the regular one and so I just kind of love it sometimes um, I used to use it in the past and I think it's a lot of fun so what I would do is I would use this as kind of a color palette to refer to and I would probably mix the the colors oh actually I promised to show you a close-up so here we go pause if you need I'm really not in the mood of um, mixing you know two colors together if you if you know what I mean I'm just I need to be in bed so let's just have a little cute art session that may make me feel better I, I always feel about art this way it's just such a good um, a lift up situation so I'll pick these I'll pick um, a crayon because I love drawing a crayon into wet watercolor so these are water soluble and let's see I'll see which color from the pencils I'd like in the end um I think that should be it really so I did a COVID test uh in the beginning of this sort of when the flu symptoms started and it came back negative but I think I will redo the COVID test today today is day five and I am feeling um I wouldn't say I'm feeling rubbish I feel energy levels much better today and yesterday but I do feel the cough is still kind of quite persistent not too bad um, but also the fact that I couldn't sleep all night and sort of yeah it just was weird anyway Let's focus on the beauty of watercolors. Okay, so I have here Chinese orange. I'm thinking this is not the right brush here. Here we go. That might be a bit much. Now, I don't know what's going to happen if I mix the two colors together. I obviously haven't tried it. It's going to warm it up for sure. As you can see, it's warming up here. I'll just do a bit of that. And then... <coughs> A little bit of this. I kind of feel like I want to just drop some something into it and just <clears throat> let it happen. Maybe a bit of that. There we go. See what happens. So acrylic inks actually behave better on tracing paper. They don't um, bundle up into these sort of uh, pearls or water drops. They 
they stay put where you put them basically <clears throat> so if I show you the watercolor here it almost kind of wants to lift from the edges whereas here it was comfortable to stay where I put it okay so this is quite nice I kind of feel that if we add this color out of the bottle it might be a little bit too kitsch and it might just ruin the whole thing so I don't know whether to risk it or not to risk it anyway let's go in with this pink a little bit it's a bit pinker but not pink enough okay maybe I'll go in with my yeah that's it so this is a fluorescent let's see it's a luminous opera it's a fluorescent pink I'm just going to add a few little infusions of this gorgeous bright pink and I think I like it much better than if I would have dropped a drop of the other color so there we go this color is another color I want to introduce but not entirely sure where so I'm just going to scribble a little bit into the watercolor as well and turquoise to finish I guess right so let's see if we can bring in some of this lovely turquoise because without it it would not be the color palette so I'm going to create larger doodle effects with it just so it stands out a bit more so I think this is looking lovely Okay, I'm feeling happy with it. I'm going to let it dry. It will become nice and crinkly. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely little thing. You could frame something like this as well because you probably um, would put some white paper underneath it to make it pop a little bit better. And you could make, you know, art paintings or abstracts for your home which look just slightly more curious than on paper than what you would have on paper okay this is as much as as, as much sense as i could put together i hope and thank you so much uh, for being with me and thank you for watching i am going to go and take a good old nap so um have a lovely rest of the day and i will speak to you soon <laughs>